The truth is you probably have about 500 calories each day that you're eating that you don't even realize you're eating, which is leading to you not seeing progress at the speed or at the pace that you'd like. Hey, what's going on? Coach Hunter here, and in this video, I'm gonna to reveal to you the three secrets to getting a flat belly. But before we get into that, if you'd like to learn how to lose weight, look great, and feel great, I give tips to busy adults like this on my channel all the time, so consider hitting like and subscribe right here to get more videos just like this. So these three secrets on how to get a flat belly you may or may not already know, so let's see how many are new to you. But first off, a flat belly can mean different things to different people. And I know a lot of people who are shredded, who've got six pack abs and aren't necessarily happy. You know, they go out to a social event and they're counting every calorie, looking at every gram of carb and they just aren't as happy as they may wanna be, but they got six pack abs. Then on the flip side, I know people who maybe aren't as ripped, but they're healthy, right? They look good, they're attractive humans and they, hey, they're a little more lenient with themselves and they are what would seem to be very happy on a day-to-day -day basis. So my whole point here is a flat belly uh, is different for different people. You know, maybe you just wanna see your toes again. Maybe you just had a baby and you just wanna lose some of that baby weight. There's lots of different scenarios, so don't think that you have to look a certain way to, to look great, to feel awesome, because it's absolutely not true. Find what's gonna make you happy, and that's what matters. So let's hop right into those three secrets that I promised. It's time for the moment you've been waiting for. Secret number one to getting a flat belly is, wait for it, it's a big secret, is walking 20 to 30 minutes a day. <laughs> Why walk? Why is walking so special when it comes to burning body fat? Well, one, it's gonna help you burn calories and any type of exercise is gonna do that. But it's so easy to go out and walk. You can literally step outside your door and you've got nothing there holding you back, right? You don't need to drive 20 minutes. You don't need to learn how to do the proper form to walk. Look, you already know how to walk. You've been doing it your whole life just do that. Also, it's extremely low impact on your joints, meaning that you can do it long-term and sustainably while still accomplishing the goals that you want. So walking is step one, 20 to 30 minutes a day. Start implementing that one. Now you're not gonna wanna miss the second secret. And the second secret is to eliminate hidden calories. The truth is you probably have about 500 calories each day that you're eating that you don't even realize you're eating, which is leading to you not seeing progress at the speed or at the pace that you'd like. And so let me give you an example of one of these hidden calories. You ever use olive oil to lubricate a frying pan? Okay, well one tablespoon of that olive oil is equal to about 120 calories, which is not insignificant. If you look at the amount of space it takes up, it's not much. It would be very easy to drizzle more than a tablespoon. Well, you can replace that really quick with olive oil cooking spray. And olive oil cooking spray for a four second spray, which is the average that most people use when they spray, that equals to about 30 calories. So right there, assuming you only did one tablespoon of olive oil, you're saving almost 100 calories. Now you add that up over the course of a week, you're saving hundreds of calories that aren't going towards storing body fat or maintaining your weight, you're gonna be closer to putting yourself in a calorie deficit and burning body fat. And hopefully some of that is coming from the mid section or the belly area. A second area that you may find hitting calories is in your sauces and seasoning. So look, I am just like any other guy, right? I love putting a bunch of sauces and extra flavorings on my meat, especially when I'm grilling. But sometimes those can have extra calories. What I would suggest is aim for mustards, aim for hot sauces, so those have zero calories. Aim for dry rubs, most of those have zero calories. So if you can just make that small tweak, you're gonna be eliminating some additional calories. And then the third area that you may be eating hitting calories is in your dairy, and specifically in cheese. Now look, you don't need to cut out dairy or cheese to lose body fat, but you can certainly reduce the amount of calories that you're intaking while you eat cheese. And you can simply do this by getting low fat cheese options versus the regular cheese options. Now, one slice of cheese can be 100 plus calories. You can get low fat, 
options for around 50. So you can cut your calories in half there. If you combine all three of these hidden calorie tips, get rid of them, then you could be saving yourself upwards of 500 calories a day and much more throughout the week. So implement those. Secret number three to getting a flat belly is to drink more coffee. That is right, drink more coffee. And here is why, because there is water in coffee. And we all have heard that you wanna drink more water to be healthier in general, but water also helps with fat loss. All right, by drinking more water, you are going to fill your stomach up. Therefore, you're not gonna be as hungry as often. Also, water just has so many great benefits to help you move better. You're gonna have more energy. It's gonna help you uh, make better decisions and get less tired throughout the day so that you can focus on your goals more effectively. Now, with the coffee, to try not to have any caffeinated coffee past 2 p.m., but my point is if you love coffee, drink more of it because it does contain water. I recommend about 96 ounces of water for the average person every day. Now that may vary depending on what your weight is, but go with 96 ounces, that's a great starting point. Uh, this goes for tea as well. So tea, coffee, all that good stuff, keep drinking it. And also just be very wary, this is another hidden calorie thing, is be wary of what's going into your coffee and your tea. If it's honey, if it's sugar, there's a lot of additives if you're going out, maybe do a Dunkin' Donuts or a Starbucks. I mean, the calories in some of those uh, iced coffees are insane. So do everything you can to get all the calories out of those drinks and leave it for your food and things that will fill you up a little bit more. So there you have it. There are my three secrets to getting a flat belly. Again, a flat belly is defined by you and you don't need six pack abs to be happy. But if that is your goal, then absolutely go for it. Just try not to judge yourself. We're all on our own journeys here. These tips, no matter where you're at, will help you move in the right direction. Hey, if you found this video helpful, please consider hitting that subscribe button to get more videos like this in the future or hit the like button. And I also have a video right here that will help you work towards a strong core. So we can work on that same area with a strong core. If you click on this video, it's also gonna help feed my two tuxedo cats. They get hungry and when they're hungry, they're hangry, right? You won't like them when they're hangry.